Hey guys, it's the next day. Happy Sunday. I didn't really vlog that much yesterday after I went to my sister's house. We just sort of hung out and, um, you know, shot the shit a little bit. Today is a new day though. Today's Sunday and today's hair day. Speaking of which, I'm with the hair by half. Sup? Do you want to tell them about your wash and go product you found? Yeah, it's um, a product by Cantu and it's like a curling gel, so I'm trying it out. I feel like my hair really likes Cantu, so Yeah, I your think... curls look really nice. Yeah. Super light and defined, so looks yeah. like it works for you. Yeah. Cantu, however, does not work for me. But anyway, today we're um, going to a hair store. We're at a black-owned hair store. Okay, hashtag support a sister. sister. Okay, y'all <laughs> need to keep up with this, not just when there's outrage, like after the outrage dies. Okay, so right now we're going to uh, Cax Hair Emporium. Let me show you where we're at. Right here, if you guys are in the east end of Toronto, um, we're at the corner of Kingston and, what is this, Kingston and Morningside? Yeah. Kingston and Morningside. Cax, I've been coming here since I was like seven years old. So, yeah. Okay, we're in the store and this is the product yeah, that Half was talking the about. For natural hair, define and shine custard. Focus, focus. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay, back from the hair store. And this is my little haul. I got one, two, three, four, five packs of this hair. It's the Ali Tress brand, uh, antibacterial. It has pre stretched hair, and I got a color 30. Excited to do some color. So excited! <laughs> So Half's going to hook me up with that. Um, I also got this little pack of beads. I thought that would be cute. Cute little design on there. I also got a new edge brush because mine is so tattered and disgusting. So this one has a brush on one end, comb on the other end, so that's perfect. And then the last thing I got was this oil. It's a moisturizing body gloss by um, Ultimate Originals. Um, just because, you know, summertime I like to glow a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I put a couple drops of this with my lotion. I just finished taking my cornrows out. It took me exactly seven <laughs> minutes. Because I've only had these cornrows for a week, so I'm not going to bother washing my hair. I'm just going to detangle, moisturize, and braid it back up. Uh, we just got started, and so we decided we're going to go on Instagram Live. So we're going to hang out with y'all for a minute while I get my hair done. Half has been on it for three hours and we're pretty much almost done if you can see but I love the color so far this is perfect for summer I can't wait till I get a little bit more tan and it like kind of blends a bit more you know I get my little goldeny color so once I'm done I'm probably gonna go sit on the balcony and tan for a bit I'm excited about it four hours later my hair's done, y'all, and it's cute. Let me see if I can. Cute, right? I love the color. It's so pretty. This is my summertime look. Okay, summertime fine. Look. Hey guys, happy, happy Monday, favorite day of the week. My back is killing me because I just spent two hours. I just spent two hours in line at. The Ministry of Transportation, which is the equivalent of your guys' um, Department of Motor Vehicles. You know, everybody's favorite place to go. <sighs> I'm wearing my Converse. Wrong shoes to be standing on <laughs> for two hours. My feet are killing me. But I needed to go and update my information on my license and ownership paperwork and stuff like that because you guys know I recently gain possession of my new home but we haven't moved in yet but technically it is my residence so i need to update the address on all of my paperwork when i got pulled over the other day i was really nervous because nothing matched up and so yeah i just wanted to make sure i took care of it today so that is done hi guys i'm at my house i brought mama daily to come see it but renovations have started okay so they already took the ceiling down i already started renovating Oh, you started. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you took the ceiling down. Because I didn't want the popcorn and I'm going to put pot lights instead. Okay, it's cute. It's small, but it's good enough for me. It's cute. Yeah. yeah, it's cute. Wow. You had a lawnmower, I'd cut the grass for you. Oh, that's nice of you. 
Okay, my mom and uh, her fiance just left. So I thought I would take this time to show you guys around and talk to you a little bit about what I decided to do because I don't remember if I told you. So what I decided to do is start with renovations on the top floor and the main floor. And then once that's done, move in. And then once we're moved in, start the basement right now. So they've already taken down the ceilings or started taking down the ceilings in the main floor. I'm gonna replace that with just nice, regular ceiling, you know? <laughs> no popcorn. And then I'm also gonna add pot lights to brighten it up and add a light fixture right over here because I plan on having a table right here. Um, the kitchen is nice. They did renovate the kitchen, the previous owners, but it's really dark to me. So I think adding pot lights is gonna brighten it up. And of course, replacing the backsplash. I'm gonna replace it because they went with black backsplash which is kind of cool but with the dark gray counter um with the dark gray covers i just think it's a bit too much so i'm gonna actually go with a uh, white subway tile nice clean classic contemporary and i'm gonna do gray grout to sort of tie in the cupboards to the countertops so i'm very excited to see how that turns out there was carpet all up the stairs as well as on the top floor so i'm getting rid of that putting down flooring to match the floor on the main. We're also gonna get rid of all the popcorn ceiling up here. Get rid of this gigantic, ridiculous, I don't know why it's there, ceiling fan. And I'm also gonna be redoing my bathroom. So I'm gonna keep the same setup, but just reface everything, make it nice and new. So anyways, what I wanted to come here to do today is measure because I've decided I want to keep my king size bed. My king size bed from my previous home. I love it so much. It's the Sorinello bed from Ashley Furniture. I fell in love with it when I saw Valencia buy it. What's up, best friend? And when I saw it, I immediately texted her and I was like, girl, I love it so much. Can I please buy it too? And she was like, obvs. So I'm going to measure and sort of tape it out and see if it'll be too big for this room. If it's too big, then I'll sell it. If it's not too big, I'm going to keep it because it makes me happy. I posted about it on Instagram and some people were like, what about your future man? And I'm like, I'm 40 years old. I'm not basing my current happiness on an imaginary hypothetical man. As a matter of fact, I'm not basing my current happiness on any current real man. Okay. Living my life for me. Turn up, turn up, no, turn up, turn up. it's not. It's my favorite day of the week. Is it yours? No. You no. don't even have a favorite day of the week. No, um, every day is like a party. Hey guys. Marley. In the back, obviously making a bunch of noise. For no reason. Um, we are off to get some errands done and get a little bit of work done. And you guys, I just need, okay, I'm gonna pull over. I need to show you guys my new favorite shirt <laughs> in like my entire life and world. It's like the most amazing shirt to me ever. So I'll just hold on. Can you guys, can I see it? Yeah. Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, you guys. Okay, I'm not shaking my boobs at you. But this is, oh, this is where I work. This is where I wish I worked. I love Michael Scott. I love Pam. I love Creed. 
I love Jim. I love everybody who works there, and I wish I worked there too. So now I have the shirts. You know what I mean? And um, I tried to roll up the sleeves to look a little bit cool. And I'm trying to look like Cool Bay, and I'm wearing my Chucks. Can you see? Yeah. So I think I look like Cool Bay today. I look like a young thing, and my hair is summertime vibe. And yeah, so we're gonna grab some brec brecky first. I'm gonna get an iced coffee. Lately, I've been hooked on Life Hack. Order a medium iced coffee from Tim Hortons. Add one shot of caramel. Bring it home. Add two shots of Bailey's. To get that. Thank me later. <laughs> Oh, you're not even wear a half coat. How come she's so light now? <laughs> what do you mean now? She's heavy. She weighs 14 pounds. That's it? Yeah, how, how much is Miko? <laughs> Miko's about 23. <laughs> okay, so here we are in Mama Dilly's backyard. Let's see what she did. Yeah, you can see my gazebo. Go inside and oh, see. Oh, so comfortable. How relaxing is it? Go in. You never want to come out. Lovely. Oh, it's nice. Go, go up. You can go. Look. Yeah. We close the door. She put up a little roof. <laughs> oh. <That's> oh. Nice. <laughs> and you have a beer. We just need the music now. Hi, okay. Miko. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Miko. And Miko is so relaxed around here now. She loves it, yeah. Right, nice. This is cute. Thank you. Hi, Miko. 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 We just left Mama Daly's house. She is doing well, as you guys can see. I keep getting questions about how she's doing. So, yeah, as you can see, she's doing well. She's um, busy working on her garden and her deck and her backyard and all that. So, she's enjoying the summer. Um, her wedding has been postponed because in Ontario where we live we're still in a state of emergency until June 30th I believe after that we're going into you know phase two of reopening the province but we're still only up to gatherings of 10 people so her wedding um, what do you call it her wedding invitee list is I think 80 people so obviously we're not there yet so it's postponed until we can get there so yeah so right now where's our next stop food food we hungry but also today is turn up tuesday <laughs> and we promised we'd go on ig live yep so, so we have to go cool. to the liquor store to get something to sip on and chat with you guys naturally done i have not forgotten about you i'm going to do a youtube live i promise you i promise you i promise you we're home stopped to pick up a couple of things for dinner tonight and completely forgot that Mom Daily actually cooked dinner for us yesterday. We have food in the fridge to eat from her. So I'm actually just gonna season up the chicken that I bought for dinner tonight and cook it tomorrow instead. We also made a quick stop at the liquor store. So we have a little selection of vodkas. We got regular vodka, lemon vodka, lime vodka, and then we've got some Bacardi lemon. Um, this is rum, I hate rum. Fun fact about Tony, I don't like rum. I'm a vodka girl. So tomorrow I'm going to make chicken souvlaki for the girls. They really like my chicken souvlaki and my Greek potatoes. So I got a bag of potatoes. Make that tomorrow. I'm going to clean and season my chicken. Put that in the fridge and cook it tomorrow as well.